Hey there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz, and today I wanted to share with you a huge Banana Republic haul that I received. Um, recent, they just uh, had a huge sale, um, and so I did go a little crazy. Uh, Banana Republic is one of my favorite stores. I kind of, I'm always checking in there because they have great items. I love the quality and the fit for me. And I just, over the years, have um, just been really happy with the things that I've gotten from there. Got a lot of things. So if you're interested to see what I got, my thoughts on it, and see how they fit me, I am a size 10 to 12. I'm 5'8". Um, so if that is you, or maybe you're shopping for someone in that size range, or you're just interested to see what I got, then just keep watching. Okay, so I do have a huge haul to go through today. So just to kind of outline what how this is gonna go, um, I have six pants that I'm gonna uh, talk about uh, and try on, and six tops, four blazers, and a jacket, and two dresses. <laughs> so it's a lot. Um, so let's get into it. First up, I have two pairs of black trousers. Um, so I was looking for a newer um, versatile black trouser. Um, I like having trousers because I feel like you can dress them up or dress them down. It's timeless, looks classy. The uh, Ryan is what it says it's called. And again, in a 10 tall, $90. And this one says it's a mid-rise. I did get the curvy because I, I think they didn't have a 10 tall in regular. I'm not curvy, but sometimes I'll get it uh, just to see how it fits better than not having anything at all. So the Ryan curvy fit says it's a mid-rise uh, curved fit through the hip and thigh with a straight leg. So both straight leg um, and let's see how they fit. First off, it has no pockets. So that's already a no for me. Um, these must be the curvy fit. So they are bigger through this area, which I don't need. So maybe if I wanted them tighter and would size down, um, but not really the, the fit that I was looking for. So it does have a, I guess this hook closure, so not a button, regular zipper, no pockets, uh, two fake pockets in the back. Oh no, no, they're real, they're just closed. But the, the length with loafers doesn't fit well. Um, I could have them hemmed up a little uh, because I do like a longer I do order a longer pant, so maybe I don't need a longer pant in this one. But overall, this fit is is just not good for me. And um, also, the no pockets is a deal breaker. Uh, my trousers need to have pockets. And just to try them on with some heels, I just popped on um, my booties real quick. And they are too long, that is certain. Um, but even at a little bit shorter, um, the leg opening is too small for me. Uh, I don't like that. I, I kind of like a more relaxed fit. So overall, these ones do not work well for me, but uh, it's a nice light feeling pant. Um, and maybe this would work better if you wore it tighter for that kind of ankle looking uh, look which is not a look that I wear so um, I guess it's kind of reminiscent of this like skinny jean look with pumps that's kind of I know people wear their trousers like that 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 isn't how I like to wear mine <laughs> the high-rise Sloan and I got mine in a size 10 tall uh, I am tall I'm 5'8 uh, so I generally always get tall if that's an option. Uh, one time I had to send pants back because they were actually too long, but usually it is fine. Um, tall is good for me. Uh, these look 
kind of small to me, so we'll see. Um, and it just looks like kind of a straight leg pant. This one, the price tag says $90, but I think they were having like 40 to 60% off of everything when I... Okay, for a, a straight leg pant, these are pretty good. The fit is great. It fits perfectly. Um, not too tight, so everything's spilling over, but not too loose where it's all baggy. Um, like the curvy fit on me, it was just too baggy. I know that I knew it was likely not gonna fit me. Sometimes if I'll size down, I can wear a curvy, but um, since I got it in the same size, it was just far too big, far too roomy. Uh, so this is a size 10 tall, just regular fit, and it fits through the whole midsection for me just fine. Uh, it does have belt loops, which I love, and it does have little slotted pockets up here. Uh, they're not open yet, so, but they are there. You know, I really like these ones, but I'm sure this is to make it more streamlined. The length was a little bit long, but since this is a more structured pant, I actually just tucked it under uh, to uh, temporarily <laughs> tailor to my height. And I don't know, I think these are, are a good one. I do like the fit and um, I like the feel. They're a, a nice thicker material and I really do need um, just a pair of nice black trousers that, that actually fit me. I actually prefer a more um, relaxed fit. So I'm not sure if I want to do the straight leg. Most of the trousers I currently have are what they called slim fit back in the day, but it really is kind of like a straight leg or maybe even a minor boot cut. So I, I wanted to try some straight leg, but more, I really like the wide leg. Um, so anyway, this is the second pair of black pants. All right, next up, I have these two cream colored. Uh, they're called the Lido uh, wool pant. And so one is in a straight, uh, they're both, I think they're both high rise. One is a straight leg. One is a wide leg. I got both of these in the 10 long as well. And the price tag on here says 150, which is still pricey. So let's see how they fit. Okay. Looks like I'm, I'm doing a monochromatic <laughs> look, but uh, this is just the try-on, so I don't have it styled. I'm just wearing what I was wearing for the day and trying on the pieces. So uh, this is the Lido wool pant straight leg. So number one, um, these are really long and I am wearing flats, so I will try them on with uh, heels as well, but um, I like the opening. I like the size of the opening. To me, I think that's a normal straight leg. The other one is like a tapered straight leg. Uh, they are wool, so they're, they're a little like scratchy. And I don't like wool that's scratchy, so. And I noticed that you can see the pockets through. So it does have pockets, it does have belt loops, it does have um, kind of the hook a button at the top to keep this seamless and a zipper and then it has the two regular pocket slits in the back um, so I actually like this pant I would probably maybe try it in a regular length and not the long but the see-throughness is an issue for me and I know that Banana Republic can make things that aren't see-through because I have white pants from them that aren't see-through. <laughs> so um, for the scratchiness and the see-throughness, these are gonna be a no, but in the right size. And if that was corrected, then I, I overall like this style. So I'll keep an eye out for other pants they make in this cut. Okay, um, these are the Lido wool pant in the wide leg and i think i am just over the straight leg or skinny leg pant because i 
I already like these more. They are too long for me, so I would probably uh, exchange these for the regular. Um, these are not as scratchy as the other ones, even though there's the same uh, cut or Lido cut and wool. Um, they just feel nicer. They, it does have the problem of the see-through pockets. These fit me the best and they're all size 10, but these, the fit um, is, I guess most fitted, uh, feels the best in this whole area <laughs> to me. Uh, so it does have pockets here. Um, it does have the kind of hook closure and zipper. And this one has flap pockets, but they are real pockets that um, you can open, which I like real pockets. I don't like fake pockets. So this one is my most favorite so far of any of them. Um, and I do like the fit and kind of the flowiness of it so much that I probably will exchange them and try a, a regular length. So I think these look and feel nice. Um, are they lined? You know what? Okay, after uh, <laughs> filling these a little bit more, uh, the reason these aren't as scratchy as the straight leg is there is a lining about down to the knee, which is interesting and I love. So I'm gonna try these in a regular um, because yeah, I think I think the um, I think that'll fit me without any tailoring needed and the long is too long, but everything else I love about these. Okay, and the last two pants uh, that I ordered are a brown. I'm always on the lookout for a really great looking, I love brown, but I mean, there's several shades and I'm pretty particular. Like this shade, I don't love. I like kind of a more rich, deep, um, chocolatey brown. Okay, so this is their Sienna um, Italian wool straight leg pant and the color is a camel heather so that's why it, it is you know not a like deep luxurious brown it's kind of more of a, a mixed color brown so this is in a straight leg and then i picked up a i actually don't have any of these um a chino pant so this is their authentic Chino high rise, and I did get a 10 tall. So straight through the hip and thigh, full length. So these are the last two pants to try on. I'm not crazy about the colors and cuts, so let's see how they look on. These are the brown. Okay, so these ones I did put on heels because apparently I'm not as tall as I thought I was at Banana Republic. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is too long on me. I am 5'8", so I guess I will be trying a regular size uh, there. So that is something to know. I am 5'8", I have long legs. I normally get along everywhere else, but um, apparently Banana Republic, I can just order their regular size. And probably mainly because most people do wear heels with the trousers. Um, I am wearing a heel, but I generally only wear a two inch heel. So I think a regular would do just fine. So these are another pair of their wool uh, pants. They are thinner than all of the other ones so far. Um, so they have a nice feel. They fit me through the top, so size 10 is good. Uh, just the length is the only issue, so I just need to order that in regular. Um, same pockets, so the two slots there, it has the hook closure, zipper, does have belt loops, and then there's just the two slotted pockets in the back, same thing. So, um, I don't, I just don't know about the color, and either way I'd have to send these back because, um, they're too long, but I... I'm on the line on these ones. I do I do like the feel of them. I could see how they'd be flowy. Um, 
because of the length, they're really weighing down right now. But if they were the correct length, there'd be more movement. So I'll probably get them in a, I'll probably get them in the regular size. Um, I could see how I could style these up. They'd be great all year round. All right, and these are the high-waisted chino pant. And I actually really like the fit. I think they fit nice. I actually don't mind the length. I like a full-length pant. I don't like cropped pants in any manner. Um, I just think a full length pant can be dressed up or dressed down. And if I wanted a cropped pant for any reason, I would just roll it <laughs> in some manner. So I think this is a nice, it's a nice thick material, soft. It does have uh, different pockets in the back and it has traditional side slotted pockets, which I love. I just think it gives a, a relaxed look. And if done well, uh, they lay flat and if fitted well, they lay flat, especially on trousers. So you wouldn't need like this, the slim line, uh, the pockets shouldn't matter. They sh I just think they should be there. So in this um, is a nice thick material for a lighter color. So they feel great. And yeah, I just think this is a good, versatile, light colored pant that I could wear all year round. So this is a good one. All right, ladies, next up, I have <clears throat> just a white button up shirt, which I'm kind of always on the lookout for. Um, I just like to have them. They're so versatile and you can do so much with them. So just picked this up on the sale. And then I did pick up a black satin uh, button up as well. Um, kind of the same thing. I, I actually do have a black button up, but it's a oversized fit, a bigger fit. So I think I was looking for more tailored fit with these two. So uh, let's see how they fit. Okay, and remember ladies, um, this is just the unboxing. So nothing is styled and or steamed. Um, this is kind of just for fit and material impressions, first impressions. So um, the white button up is a tailored fit. The material feels beautiful. I actually really liked it when, when I first put it on right now, but it is pulling. There is a gaping hole right here in the bus. So the, the bus is too, like, it's just, it's not tailored to me. So um the fit is just weird so this one is going to be a no for me but uh it is a nice shirt there are a lot of things that i do like about it uh, all right ladies uh next up is the black uh silk silky uh, uh, it's not real silk satiny <laughs> Uh, button up. So I do have a black button up that I love to just throw on over anything. It is kind of more of an oversized, so super casual. Um, so it is nice to have a more fitted one that you can wear long sleeve. So normally when I try a button up, it needs to fit me regular too, <laughs> to wear for work or whatnot. Um, and then I will, you know, can style it up on how I would wear it more casually because I do like to wear pieces. I like to buy pieces that I can wear to work or dress up or dress casual or, you know, layer with other things. Um, so it, I, I can't buy something and then, you know, alter it and have to wear it only one way. And I, I just, that's too fussy. There's too many clothes. I, I'm not going to do that. Oh, and to let you know, uh, the white, top is a their tailored fit in a size 10 and the price tag on here says $70 this satin top is in a medium so some stuff today has been big and some fit and some too small <laughs> 
So anyway, I like this satin top. It feels great. It's light. It's not see-through. And uh, I like the button placement. And I think it looks nice and is a good versatile piece. All right, and next up I have four sweaters. So I got two of the, what they call the forever sweater. So I'm excited to try these out. They're really soft and a V-neck, which I love. And then I picked up a little black cardigan. Um, this was on sale too. I did get a small. I actually am wanting to style this as just a top. So not really over anything, but certainly could be worn over, you know, a dress or something for a little more coverage. So hopefully this one fits. So this one is in a small and it says $80. And then on this great sale, I did pick up a cream colored duster. So it's really long, um, just to have to wear over anything. Um, so it's in a size medium. And this one says it was $120. So let's see how they fit. All right, this is their forever sweater in the, I, I don't know what color they call it, but you know, in the crew and I love it. It's very lightweight. Um, and I love, I love something like this where it's, it's a whole sweater, but then I can pull up the sleeves and things, but it needs to fit me normal too, because I do like to layer it in the fall and winter. So this is great. I like it. Perfect fit. It's a size medium, the, and it's not too see-through. Um, so it could be worn by itself or layered. So I think this is a for sure win. I don't, and when I steam it, it feels really silky. I want a 60% cotton, 40% rayon viscose blend. And it feels great. Feels great. It's gonna look all silky when I steam it out too. So love this one. Okay, and then in the light blue, the forever sweater, in a size medium. It is a little brighter in person, I think, than it's showing up on camera. I wish it was lighter. I like a real, if I am gonna wear a color, I like a more, a pretty pale color. So in the blue, um, I, and I like to try both on, one to see the color against my skin tone, um, and sometimes I have found that the same thing in a different color is just different. So <laughs> don't assume that they fit exactly the same. Uh, I'm not sure about the color for me. Uh, I know a lot of people like the light blue. I, I'm, I'm a neutrals gal and I, I love my earth tones and black and white and they just make me happy. And every now and then I can throw in red and um, you know, a, a deeper blue, a navy, but um, I don't know. So I'm not sure about the light blue, but um, I did love the cream colored one and the fit and um, feel of it is very nice. I like it a lot. Okay, this is a cute top. Um, again, I like the material, feels great. Um, and I did want a more fitted look on this one. I thought it'd be really cute to wear with jeans or um, even open over a summer dress in the spring and summer. And I don't actually have a fitted cardigan, so this would be something new. I have larger ones, you know, uh, regular size and oversized, but not a small fitted one. And I went for black. It's pretty cl classic, and I just think it's versatile and slimming. <laughs> so uh, since I was wearing something more tight, uh, I wanted to, of course, go with black. So um, I love the knit on it. I love the buttons. Um, I think the V is totally appropriate. It's good for me. I mean, I wouldn't wear it everywhere, but <laughs> it's a good option. And then again, I like the long sleeves that I can pull up to any length that I want. And this is another great option too for something to throw over if you wanted to just cover your arms in it. I would, I mean, for me, this would, I would, this is cropped. <laughs> It's not cropped, but for me, this is about as short of a top that I would wear out. So um, yeah, so this would be a great 
top and I think it'd be versatile in a lot of my outfits. This is the cream colored ecru off white. I don't know the difference between those, but you know what I mean? Not white uh, duster. Uh, it feels beautiful. I love the length. I am not sure about the cutouts. I think that makes it really casual. Uh, I might have to try it on with jeans because I feel like I would only wear this with jeans i don't think that they're i wonder if i'd wear it with a summer dress so i might have to style this with a few things to see if it would work uh right off the bat though um the arm length is kind of an issue it could be cute in the spring and summer because you could just wear a bunch of bracelets um there is no button or belt or anything um i don't know i don't love it I want to love it, but um, I don't. I love the color and I love how it feels. <laughs> uh, I don't think I love the slits. That seems kind of impractical for any purpose I'd be using it for. So this would really, I think this would really be just a layer. Like it's not really doing anything. It Maybe if you wanted to cover your upper arms, which sometimes I do. So I could use it for that, but I'd prefer a whole sleeve. Like I like to push my sleeves up to whatever length I would like them to be at. So I'm not a real fan of, you know, uh, any kind of short end, you know, the three quarter, anything like that. I, I think it, I like a full length sleeve and then I can put it, you know, here, here or up here um, myself. So I don't know. It certainly doesn't go with this outfit and it's more for size try on all right next up i have the blazers and i know i said i had four at the beginning but apparently i ordered two of the exact same one uh so sometimes i will do that because sometimes i'll cart stuff and then just not notice that i already carted that before because you know how the websites save all your information so uh i have three blazers to try on for you so uh, first up is the, uh, I think they call it the captain's blazer, which is like, I think one of their higher end, like nice um, blazers. It has gold button detail and it is mostly cotton. I think it's 98% cotton. So it's 98% cotton. The inside is polyester and it has good structure. It, f it has kind of like a linen feel on the outside, but it's a nice thick structured uh, blazer. And the fit is just lovely. Just actually fits me perfectly. And an issue that I have that a lot of uh, the other girls that I seem to watch on YouTube uh, don't have is I have broad shoulders. So big uh, shoulder pads are not good for me. I actually need like a pretty thin little one because I do like the structure, but like this has a, I would say a little shoulder pad, which I like. Um, I had gotten a couple blazers from Zara just for your reference. And those are pretty substantial um, shoulder pads. Like I, I, I don't like those jackets because the shoulder pads are too big <laughs> there's actually a jacket that i really liked that i have i kept uh i got i want to figure out how to take the shoulder pads out <laughs> but this is a really cute jacket i like the gold button detail and it has it on the sleeves too i know that some people are saying that's overdone and this and that but i think it is timeless classic and in it might be overdone in the fashion world and maybe on youtube but in real life it's a classic timeless look it always looks good and polished you know um in any setting so to me you can't go wrong um and if you get a good quality uh, material that feels good and fits good on you then i think it's a classic and next up i have the same blazer in white so it's the exact same captain's blazer as the black uh just in white so same cotton 
a shell with a polyester inside and these are in size 10 which does fit me um, this white is a cool tone so that already is throwing me off um, I like a more a, a warmer tone white so that is something to pay attention to as well when you're purchasing whites which I love white so I buy all the time and it is something I'm very cognizant of because uh, I I'm actually a neutral uh, skin tone too so I can do cool or warm and I've gone through phases of both but I find I prefer warmer so um, that's the first problem I see with this jacket is it's a cool tone white so the fit is good it's the exact same size as the black so it fits me perfectly um, I love it everything about it fit wise and filling wise it's mostly cotton so it feels great um, it's well structured it's nice and thick even in the white it's not see-through which is nice um, but the cool tone I'm not a fan of and so since I only have room for two white blazers in my closet uh, I have to be pretty picky so this one is not gonna make it all right and next up uh, this looks actually like linen so this is uh, in a size 10 this one is 160 so the captains were 180 and again everything was like 50% off um, and this is 52% uh, linen 45% cotton and 3% spandex and the lining is cotton so that's it is a little um, sheer like linen is but for a blazer that's perfectly fine I would definitely be wearing something under I under my blazer and uh, let me see See, this is the captain's blazer and I feel it has a cooler tone than this one. See, this is more of a, at least warmer or true white or neutral white. They look different sh tones, can you? I don't know if you could tell on camera. Um, but already uh, I love that it's the linen and I've been looking for a linen one. Uh, the arm length is perfect. The length is perfect. I don't like a real huge oversized blazer uh, that is not my style again I need it to be versatile so I need to wear it to work I want to layer it and um, so this does have lining which is nice and it has uh, some of the I guess like tortoise shell colored buttons which I love kind of a natural look um, I can't yeah it has pockets great that's awesome and this fits great so this is a size 10 and linen I love it so this is perfect this is white blazer number two for my closet has been found <laughs> so the search is over I just I guess I need a silk one now <laughs> maybe one day very light shoulder pads um, which is perfect for me because I already have uh, broader shoulders and I don't like to add a lot of bulk up top so this is perfect for me a uh, nice light airy feel and hasn't even been steamed yet and this is probably my favorite thing so far today next up is a trench coat <laughs> I have a trench a trench coat addiction um, and I kept seeing this one on the website because I do visit Banana Republic a lot. I love a lot of their basics. I kept seeing this trench all year and then when the sale came in, I was like, let me try it. Um, I'm generally more of a neutrals and so if I can get a really good deal on, on a color one, I'll get it because I, I, I won't wear it that much. I, I like to add my color in, in accessories. So shoes or purse, sometimes shirt, but really I'm, I'm more of a neutrals gal. Um, so this, I think they call it a chambray. 
which is like a heathered blue. And so this is in a medium tall. Um, I do like that about Banana Republic is you can order longer since I am tall, even though all the pants uh, were too long for me today. <laughs> um, I don't love the color already off the bat. So this is a medium tall. Original price was $230. The lining is so cute. It has the BR emblem. And then the trench has all of the traditional things that I like. Um, I generally like all of the, you know, the shoulder detail. I like the buckle in the sleeve. I like, I, th I think they call this like the storm protector flap, um, a belt. Can't wait to try it on. Okay. Um, so I like all the components of it. And I think if I was going to do a color, this is a nice more muted down color. And again, I just have a weakness for trench coats. The issue with this one is it's too big for me, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not a fan of oversized. I uh, do layer these over my clothes all year, um, but I generally only have like a normal sweater. I don't have layers and layers, so I don't need a huge uh, trench coat to cover a lot. So I think I might um, trade this in for small because there's a lot of things I like about it. And again, I'm not a big colors person. So um, I think it might be good to have this kind of muted blue in my collection just for a pop of color. So like when I'm wearing all black in the uh, winter, which I love to do, this would be good. I usually have, you know, all my beiges and tans, taupes, uh, camel um, so this would be good to not go in the earth tone way but maybe to stay more in the grays and blacks lane so I think I'll size down I think you know see I love trench coats and that's my problem so I think I will try this in a size small and if that fits nice then it will be a keeper and next up, I have two dresses that I picked up. Um, oh, and in the trench coat, I just wanted to mention that the sleeves are not adjustable. Um, so I know sometimes people like to button them smaller and whatnot. They're not adjustable. I don't usually. I like it those loose, so that doesn't bug me. So next up, uh, two dresses. I picked up this silky um looks like halter top style um, and just holding it up th here through the window it is pretty sheer so that is a little bit of an issue um because my i mean for slip purposes i my slips are a whole slip so i'm not sure how i would wear one with a halter top so i love these colors though i love the silky fill um, this is an eight tall. So probably what motivated me to get it is the tall option because I do have a hard time finding dresses long enough for me. So I do like that option. Um, and then same thing, pretty sheer. Uh, this one is like a navy and cream, which I love, but this has a normal top. So I could wear a slip with this. So that is just fine. Um, so these are both beautiful and we will see if I love it enough to make it work. Okay. Um, I love the colors in this. Um, even though I don't do colors in my like, you know, tops and bottoms, uh, generally for dresses I do, but still obviously like more classic earth tone colors. Um, so I love the colors. I love the material. Um, again, this is an eight tall, it, the price tag on the tag says 110. And again, it was like 50% off. Um, this, this neckline, uh, I couldn't wear a bra with and I need to wear a bra. I'm larger busted and I don't really like to change from a regular bra. I will for some outfits. This is also too big for me. So that is probably a problem too. Um, 
I probably could go down two sizes, maybe. I mean, the back is not even on me. So, well, and also I don't like how it comes down the center. I don't know if you could see that, like separating my boobs. <laughs> I don't like that. You know what? It, it does give me like moo moo feelings, which I, I lo actually love moo moo, a good moo moo. Um, this would be great for just like a barbecue at your house on the weekend, just hanging out with the fam, something like that. But again, the issue that I have is the bra issue. Um, but that's too bad because I love it. I love the, well, I love the colors. I love the colors. I love the length. I love the material. Unfortunately, I guess I, the style doesn't work for me. So this one is a no for me. I'm going to have to send it back, sadly. Okay, so this has a great flowy feel and I love the colors. These are some of my favorite colors. Um, I love the classics. So this is a navy and ecru. And this does give that big maxi flowy, I call it moo moo and I'm, that's fine with me, whatever. <laughs> I, I love a big flowy dress. Sometimes, you know, if it's really hot and you don't want to worry about an outfit or shaving your legs or whatnot, then you just throw on a dress and you look great and are cool and stylish. So uh, this has a zipper back and adjustable spaghetti straps. And then I like to wear it a little bit lower so it doesn't give the boob split situation as much. And yeah, I like it. This is an eight long, eight tall. So for me, it goes all the way to the floor and I do have wedges on. So um, I'm glad one of them worked out. So very cute. I love these glass straws. If you haven't tried them yet or don't have any, you should pick some up. I just got these like a week ago and it's definitely encouraged me and my daughter to drink more water. It just feels so much cleaner and you can like see through it and it helps you drink a lot more water. So I just found these on Amazon um, and I've really liked them. I'll link them down below for you as well. So what did you think of the haul? <laughs> Hopefully it helped you out if you were looking or considering things. I think I was looking on Banana Republic uh, yesterday and it still said 40% off. And then there's Banana Republic Factory too. So they kind of both have sales and I almost, I can hardly buy anything that isn't on sale. Uh, there are a few things that I know are gonna go really quick that I will pick up, but um, a lot of like the basics, like the captain's blazers do go on sale. So, you know, uh, don't pay $200 for those. Wait till they go on sale. Um, and a lot of their trench coats too go on sale. So, and dresses. So everything does. There's a few unique items that do sell out um, and, and don't go on sale, but you know, they're in the end wanting to just sell out of everything. So it'll, it'll get gone uh, one way or another. Um, so I had some uh, great finds and some that just didn't work out. And that's kind of this whole process of uh, trying on and seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, I actually do have a Banana Republic in the town that I live in, um, but uh, usually I do my online, I usually do most of my shopping online because I do work full time, I have a family like many of you, and it's just easier for me. I do like to do the whole shopping experience when I can sometimes, but it, I, I don't do that as often as I online shop. So um, I kind of have to just get the things and see what sizes work and what don't. So hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions on anything or if there's anything I left out that I should have put in, then go ahead and mention that, that in the comments below. 
Um, I wanted to thank you so much for joining me for this haul. It was great having you here. Uh, I am a newer creator on YouTube, so I would sure love it if you would like and subscribe so I know you like this type of content. And um, yeah, so that is the haul. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.